Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm doing a sort of everything haul. Um, I do have some designer jute bags to lead on from our last video. Um, some of them are similar, some of them are different. I um, have some stuff from Topshop, Forever 21, and just kind of some random things. So, I will start with the designer jute bags. So, the first bag you will have already seen in our other video in cream because my mom did get that. Um, I got the black and I mean obviously this is an amazing jute for the Chloe Nile bag. Um, I am a person who does spend a lot of money on bags in general however this style bag was something that is so trend driven and it's not very practical at all so I did not want to spend a lot of money on it and if you go on any of those sites like Shein, Romwe, Aliexpress they all have this bag it does have the long strap and um, I've just got that inside because we did go to a wedding sorry it's probably so loud we did go that so we did go to one first things first. We did go to a wedding and I did use this. I didn't use the crossbody strap. I just held it like this or on my wrist. Or it's really cute carrying it like a clutch bag. Um, it fit my phone, lipstick, card. Um, there's no way you're fitting like a purse or anything in here. But it does have like a bit of a slit at the back. And I just put my card in there. Um, major downside with this bag, as you probably guessed. The noise it makes is like kind of ridiculous. Um, also, the ring doesn't stay like this. It's like very so it ends up like that, which isn't anywhere near as cute as that. Um, but I'm glad I literally I got this from AliExpress. Um, I probably paid like ten pounds for it, um, and it's actually really good quality. I'm I can't knock the quality of it it's really good you get the good look that you don't have to pay because this bag is incredibly expensive the Chloe bag and considering it's I mean it's not gonna be a bag that's timeless and around forever I don't really think there's any need to pay that much money now I am a big fan of this style of bag I really like a crossbody bag with a top handle so because that one is so tiny I did buy both when I bought that bag. Um, I bought the bigger size which is which I do prefer. I like the shape. I think it's much more user friendly. Again it has the crossbody strap. It's pretty much the same but believe it or not because of the shape of this bag it's like much more narrow at the top. It's actually really hard to fit stuff in. Um, let me grab my phone. I have the iPhone um, 7 Plus and it's actually really hard to fit it in. Okay, so like this. Actually, it's not a bad when there's nothing in. So obviously it doesn't fit all the way in this way. You have to kind of, it does not fit, that, that's still swift. You know, it doesn't fit that way. You have to like angle it in and even then you can see it doesn't really fit in. There, I forced it in. So I mean paying you know well over a thousand pounds for a bag that is like this in my opinion is just not worth the money and again it swings around a lot when you carry it so you want it this way with the detail and um, it swings around and it's jingly jangly. I mean I love it don't get me wrong it's so cute but yeah I feel like it's one of those bags where it was inevitable that it was going to be duped everywhere because no one wants to spend that amount of money on a bag that is just a fast fashion piece really. Okay, my next bag is another Chloe dupe. Um, again, they have these on Shein and um, Romwe and I got this. I'm a, I love AliExpress. Um, some of the stuff is terrible, don't get me wrong, but some of the stuff from Shein is terrible. Um, so I'd rather get it cheaper on AliExpress. Um, oh, it's so cute. So this is a dupe for the Chloe Pixie bag. Um, it's so cute. It's very good quality. This bit is like the mock suede. It totally has a mark on it already. Um, 
I love this like Chloe blue and um, they do the is it the fair backpack um in this color it's so pretty and I was like I want to wear this color I'm gonna wear this color I wish I'd gotten it in black um I've used it once um it's very cute again I love the top handle the only thing with this bag is I don't love the strap with this strap from the other bag it has um, this kind of like buckle fastening which I think looks a lot more expensive than this this is gross so I take that off and I carry it with these little handles because I think that that really cheapens the look of the bag um, because I mean this bag is identical it just doesn't have Chloe written on it um, and like I said I do invest money in bags but not in the kind of bags that aren't going to be around for a long time that aren't like you know if it's a Louis Vuitton monogram or if it's like a Chanel bag you know that that's a good investment this would not be a good investment let me look at how much this bag is this bag retails for $1,550 for a tiny little round bag with metal handles that is such a fast fashion trend item that is not going to be timeless and it's not going to be around forever You're not going to be this is going to end up being like a Chloe Paddington where everyone had them they were so cool and now when you see them on eBay for like 50 quid no okay so now I have some stuff from Topshop um, I did have like a little bit of a disaster which is why I ended up getting all this stuff from Topshop. I had purchased a dress, I'll enter a photo somewhere, um, and it was gorgeous like this midi slash maxi, really nice floral dress, um, and I even checked, you know, how do I take care of this item, um, it's a little bit more fancy. I mean saying that it was like it was £65, I did buy it in the UK, um, so it was retailing for like almost $100 here. Um, I put it in the washing machine, like it said, I checked that you didn't need to hand wash it, and it came out shredded. Like, no exaggeration, like, I guess like none of the seams had been finished, so when it went in the washing machine, which is said wash on a cool wash, it just disintegrated. Like. It was totally frayed everywhere. Um, so like props to shop, I did email them. They did I sent it back to the UK, which took forever. Um, and they gave me a top shop US gift card to use online. So I mean I appreciate that. It took a long time, but I mean they didn't have to do that, and they did. So I got a ton of t-shirt. So, I got this t-shirt because I've seen everyone with it, and um, I like size up generally in Topshop. Um, to be honest, I like my t-shirts quite baggy anyway. I got this in a medium. Um, now, I have washed it, and I'm not going to lie, it's looking a little bit rough already. <laughs> and I've only washed it once, I think. Um, and even this, the lettering is very great. Now, I can't really remember if it was like faded. It doesn't look faded on camera, um, but yeah, I mean, it, that is why I don't pay a lot of money for t-shirts from Topshop anymore. I mean, the quality is very nice, um, it's very thick, and obviously we have like the Gucci-esque logo, and I got a lot of stuff like this. So I have worn it, it's really cute, I just wear it with like clots tucked in, or shorts or anything, and it's very nice. Okay, next t-shirt. I got this one in a medium as well. This one I wish I'd sized down because it's so long. Um, again, it's very similar. It has the slogan with the like stripes, a bit like the Gucci t-shirt. Um, now, I don't still have the label on this one because I have worn it, so I don't know how much it was, but I know that it was way more than I would ever pay for a t-shirt if I didn't have a gift card. This t-shirt was in the sale section. Um, and it was super cheap. Um, it was supposed to be. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> what? 
It's supposed to be forty-five dollars. Oh my god. I was supposed to be forty-five dollars, and it was like twelve dollars in the sale. So I was like, oh, this is cute. It's just like a white T-shirt. All of this is actually embroidery, and it has the little what does it say? Never apart and. I sized up in this, wish I hadn't, it's kind of big, but I like big t-shirts, so it's fine. I got a 12, I would have been fine with a 10. Um, however, I didn't realise, because it didn't say it on the website, like it didn't say anything about it. The back is like, all like laced up. I mean, it's fine, it's cute, but it did not say anything about having like a back detail, and I'm sure I looked, but I mean... It's still cute. It's very nice. It's very boxy um, and like baggy and I don't know if this is still in the sale. It might not be available, I guess. I will link anything that I can down below. Um, I should still have the links for the stuff I got from AliExpress as well. Um, I know with AliExpress things like disappear um, because it's all a bit dodgy. Now this is a t-shirt that I did size up and I'm glad I did because it's more cropped Um, it's so cute it's got the little cherries on it's red I don't I don't do like colored t-shirts normally um, because like as well when you live somewhere hot I'm very paranoid about like looking sweaty on the back and everything TMI um, so I got this in a 12 and it's like perfect it was $28. I don't know if this was discounted at all. Like I say, I had the gift card so I wasn't really that concerned with how much things were. Um, but it's so cute, like so on trend. It looked really nice with like a mini, a mini? Would look really cute with like a midi skirt. Yeah, I really like it. Don't, I haven't worn it yet. Um, but I can't wait to. And then I took a massive risk. And it paid off. <laughs> Um, I really struggle with like skirts and shorts um, because I have a small waist and hips so my waist is like I need a size 8 my hips are like you need a size 12 and everything else I get in a size 10 um, sometimes t-shirts I'll get smaller bigger depending on the fit I want to be honest I'm not too concerned about what size something is anymore I'm more concerned about how do I like the fit of it so in my wardrobe I have dresses that are a size 6 and dresses that are a size 12 so I there was a lot of stuff in the sale and I saw these and these are the Cory um just Cory Cory oh here it is Cory mid-rise easy fit top shot tall shorts and I got these in a 30, which is a 12, um, and they are really nice. Now, I had been thinking about this for a while, which is getting them from the tall section, because I like, I want something that sits high, but I find that when something sits high, if you have big hips, the shorts aren't long enough, and then it makes this area look really big. Um, so these are really nice, they're very comfy, they are a little bit on the loose side but there's no way I would have fit into the small size um, because their stuff is tiny and I absolutely love these and of course as soon as I got them it got really cold in Orlando so I haven't worn them yet which is why they've still got the tags on but I'm so happy with them, like these with that red shirt, so cute so there's a tip to anyone who doesn't want their bum hanging out get shorts from the tall section and then that is like the perfect fit that I've been looking for that I can't find anywhere else and believe it or not but I got all of that stuff um, for the same price as the dress which is crazy um, because I'm the dress I wore it twice um, and I mean it was like a go yeah it was a special occasion dress but all that stuff like I'll wear constantly and it just shows you what you can get for your money. Um, I had like literally like two dollars left and I was like well I don't want to pay more for anything else there's nothing I really wanted um, but in the sale they did have these little earrings and I'm into like statement earrings at the moment they're very like 80s they are like plastic pyramids but they're really cute, they're really cute on um, 
I'm into like red and stripes at the moment, which you're gonna see next. So um I don't have um I have two like wild fox sweatshirts, but I don't have any like jumpers or anything with me. Um, since I did have, I've got like two jumpers that I left in England for when we visit um, and I didn't have anything so Andy was like I'll buy you a jumper. So we went to Old Navy which is one of my favourite shops and um, they do like basics really well, they do, I feel like the fit of their clothes is so good. So for example in Forever 21 some stuff I don't fit into a large. I have jeans from Old Navy that are a four. I've just realised I've spent the whole video using UK and US size. Okay, so when I say 10, I mean UK 10, which is US 6. That's what I mean. So, in Old Navy, in their jeans, I wear a size 4, which is a size 8. But in Forever 21, I can't fit into a large. So, here's an Old Navy jumper. It's very soft and fluffy. Um, but it's not overly thick because obviously it's Orlando so even though it can get cold um, I'd rather have like a light in it and wear a jacket. Um, it's a little bit long and it does have these little like slits on the side um, so it's very flattering. Um, I got it in a medium and it's just like the right amount of loose. Um, and I absolutely love it. I wore it the other night when we went to Halloween Horror Nights and it was chilly and I had a hot butt of beer. And it was very cute. Now I got these a little while ago but I have worn them so much I just wanted to give them like a shout out um, and these are from Forever 21 and I got them in a medium believe it or not and they fit but they are let me try and hold them like this they are stripey culottes and um, they just have like a stretchy waistband they have pockets they're a very lightweight material and they are so cool um, like with one of those slogan t-shirts, they're just really nice, easy to wear. They look like you made an effort even when you have just shoved on some like really loose pants. Again, this is something where like you're probably um, not going to be able to find it anywhere. It was actually from Ross and it was like $13. The brand says Iris. And I got this in a medium and I'll insert a picture as well. It's just this like really pretty wrap skater dress with the tie and I wore this when we went to Epcot Food and Wine Festival and it was so cute. I got like tons of compliments on it um, and it was $13. And so always go to like Ross, TJ, TK Maxx because they have some really good stuff and it's not like you're buying it from Topshop or Forever 21 where like 50 other people have it um, because they're literally just like random things. I don't even know where do they get their clothes from? Like where, how do the clothes end up in Ross or TJ Maxx? I don't know. Um, but the print is just so like autumnal but summery and so cheap. So cheap. So I'm like so happy with that. Um, and I think I'll wear it a lot. Oh, I forgot. When we were talking about Forever 21, um, I did um, return something and I got this hat, which I'll, again, you might have seen on Instagram. And I had to get one of these hats. I'm a hat person. Um, and if you see my hat there, that's my Taylor Swift hat. Um, and I needed one of these hats. I think Andy thinks I'm crazy, but I love it. I think it's so cool. I feel so cool when I wear hats. Like I feel like everyone's like, oh, they're like trendy because they wear hats. Do people say trendy anymore? I don't know. Last thing is like totally random. Um, but we went to St. Augustine for a friend's wedding. And I always find that when you go to like outside of um like right in the center of Orlando where like Universal and Disney and stuff are. If you go to like a Walgreens or a CVS, you find all that like awesome makeup that we never have here. Um, so they had this whole um, like setup of Milani products that I'd never seen before. And I got this, which is the Afterglow Strobe Light Instant Glow. I don't know if the shade is Strobe Light, it says number one. Um, and I've been wearing it constantly 
and I've been at work and people like have been like oh my god what highlight are you wearing it looks so good um and this was I mean Milani isn't like super cheap I think it was ten dollars but I mean that is not expensive by any means um I've used it like straight for two weeks haven't reached for anything else and I really really like it I think it's probably better than the um wet and wild highlight that I did really like but this is really like even more intense and it lasts it doesn't fade off and disintegrate in the thin air um, it's still there at the end of the day and I really like it it's very shiny <laughs> that's I like to be shiny so it's okay that is everything for the random <laughs> everything I bought in the last month haul um, I haven't been buying that much stuff just because we've been saving money um, and obviously I wouldn't have had anywhere near as much stuff if I didn't have that Topshop gift card um, but it's good because it kind of meant that I got new clothes even though I lost that dress which I really loved um, so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, please subscribe we've got more vlogs coming up um, other exciting things. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Bye!